and now covered with 35% hydrochloric acid to dissolve copper the aluminum has react immediately covered up today I'm going to recover gold flex cable connectors from smartphone and also plastic keyboard from cell phone keypad and I had one kilogram of this so let's begin so we add to our stainless bowl and fire with our map gas okay perfect ashing nice And this is the result. Very nice. And now our ash material here is uh, add to our large beaker to dissolve base metal. As I said, at least uh, 60 to 80 percent, including the dust, because some gold plated here are extracted during the fire operation and now covered with 35% hydrochloric acid to dissolve copper the aluminum has react immediately covered up so And now adding hydrogen peroxide 20 volume meaning and uh, this is 6% hydrogen peroxide let's add 160 uh, ml And let's allow to dissolve copper. I don't have bubbler, but that's okay. We stir every day, two times. After a minute, a solution turning into yellow green. Okay, day one, October 26, 2022. I stir this one morning, afternoon, and evening because I don't have a blur. Let, let's take a look at the solution. Okay, two days. It's October 27. Let's turn this one. And the solution is turning into dark, very dark. And the remaining copper is a small amount.
cut into tiny pieces so it's allowed and go ahead Okay, pass forward of this video. Four days ago, stare three times a day. Now October 29 in the evening. The solution has to saturate it with copper. So let's filter this one and remove a AP. And I had sit up filter paper here to filter the solution and I almost dissolved 90% of copper here because I add too much hydrogen peroxide 60 ml that is 6% I expectedly that I dissolved some of my gold foil here. Pass forward the video and I'm done filtering. And as you can see here, you can't recognize the gold foil here because I burn it. But I think in the three larger particle here that is a gold foil and some are dissolved you know okay now by dissolving the gold foil here and let's add fresh hydrochloric acid 30% 35% let's wash first the filter That's enough to cover up the material. So what I have here is a chlorine, 150 gram, a, which is contain 70% hypochlorite. Bleach is work well, but uh, I want to try the chlorine here which is high concentration then bleach let's add hot water about 100 ml and stir until it dissolves now the chlorine has dissolved and let's pour to the Solosh uh, the baker slowly. And steer. And add more. Heating a little bit of our solution and add another shots of chlorine. We add more or pass this reaction. Okay, that's enough boiling and let's allow the solution to cool down and filter to our filter cotton. 
Okay, filtering our solution to our filter cotton. Our material remain here is a plastic that does not burn and some I think copper copper too okay and filtration with filter cotton is done and we need to transfer I have set up filter paper here let's do it Start filtering to our ashless filter. It's almost done filtering. Green solution. Now I'm done filtering and I squeeze the other paper here. and transfer the solution to a large speaker for precipitation okay let's do it and dilute small amount of water okay then add sodium metabisulfite let's see what happened here a big crystal let's add more I need foaming. Yes, that is foaming. This is the indication that we get precipitation. This is easy to precipitate because there is no nitrogen ions. So let's allow the gold to settle down at least till hours. Dilute more water to reduce the acidity. After 24 hours, the gold has completely precipitated at the bottom of my breaker. Nice, baby. So let's clean this one by boiling with water. And my EP that I was added is in B here. Uh, I got precipitation white. I precipitate a small amount of gold but I discard and we process later I add copper bar to precipitate gold so the, let's decant this water nice gold eh? So 
let's transfer to a small baker adding distilled water for boiling okay first boiling with water and I had also water here fire boiling as in boiling at least 10 minutes and repeated this process at least three times and allowing the solution to cool down and settle down the gold while waiting to cool down and settle down the gold I had also boiling water to add more after three times boiling with water and that is the result very nice gold and clean water and that is my decantation excess chemical so what we're going to do is to filter catching the gold into our filter paper because I don't want any losses here during the decantation and then filtering and ready to melt okay, let's do it baby uh, this is very difficult to work with you're the only one added to our crucible and fire yeah so let's take on the scale how much we get so let's take on our skill turn on zero zero boom two point one four uh, okay so don't forget to give me likes or thumbs up to you for youtube algorithm and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching